On today's show, I'm going to make a tender and juicy chicken. It takes about 15 minutes to make this meal. It is so quick and simple, but yet delicious because we have onions, garlic, paprika, some cream, of course, salt and pepper. So let's get started. back to the Diabetic Diet Show. We are starting out with our pasta. So the spaghetti has been cooked already. I boiled the water, followed the instructions on the package, and I have this all set and ready to go. While that was cooking, I cut up onions and got the garlic cleaned because I'm going to run that through my shredder and make it more digestible. So I have a large frying pan, and I'm going to put some olive oil in. This particular one that I'm using is garlic mushroom olive oil. This should be really good. Then I'm going to add a little bit of grapeseed oil just to raise the temperature that that would burn. We start the fire on high to get this pan hot. just like that. Then I can start on my garlic and my onions. So you can use a blender, you can use a chopper. Just start a little at a time. Put a little bit of onions in the bottom, then we'll put the garlic in. That way they don't just sit on the bottom. And pulse it. Very good. Now we don't want to turn these into soup, but yet we do want them all cut up. This is getting nice and hot here. That's about ready to go. I have my paprika here. Let's get this open and ready. What makes everything easy for you here is being ready. That is the secret to everything. Now this chicken came right out of the package and of course they kind of squish them together a little bit in the package. So you have to kind of push down on them a little bit to lay them out. Then I have some paprika and paprika is not that strong so don't worry about doing too much. And then you have the salt. And then you rub it in, just like that, and you want to turn them over. And now you can do breast, thighs, wings with this recipe. This works. Chicken is chicken. And one of the things I was going to show you is if you want, you can put the paprika in the strainer and tap it and filter it over. But it's really not necessary. You just want to sprinkle that paprika on there just like that. And then you want to rub it in. And then you want to get these in the pan, skin side down. That was the side that we seasoned up first. Just like that. Now, you're cooking these for about five minutes. And I'm going to be on medium heat. I would recommend throwing a strainer over the top of them to uh, protect from the splashing. Down to the last few seconds, and then we're going to flip these over. and the juice and everything. They're starting to look and smell 
delicious. Protector back on the top. Hit start on the timer. They've been cooking for a couple of minutes. Now I'm going to put in my remote probe into like the fat of one of the thickest ones that I could find. And then I want to turn on my timer, thermometer, timer's going 347, so that's already on. The chicken is 126, and I want this chicken cooked to 160. So I'm just going to lower the temperature down to my alert as 160. Here we go, 160 on the thermometer. And if you want, just to prove that out, you can use your regular instant read and just double check, just to make sure your probe isn't touching the pan or something like that. Just put it in here. 156 over there. These are 141, 155, it's still going up. There you go, 158, 59. There's 160. Just took the thermometer a minute. Yeah, 160. Okay, now let's pull these out of here by having the fire off. kind of stir the juice around a little bit in the pan. Okay, like that. Get my fire going back again. Hide, get it hot. And now I have my onions and garlic. these don't take long. Now that chicken as far as the cooking goes, I've read on the internet about 10 minutes per side on those chicken thighs. Well it was longer until it got to 160. So that's why it's dangerous to cook food by time rather than by temperature. Turn these down to a, a medium. We don't burn them. Rolling them around in all of the oil. Make sure the fire didn't go out, did it? It's the only problem with this thing, the fire goes out on you. Hard to cook when the fire goes out. Now I'm just going to pull them over here in the center where they're all together. Like that for a minute, then take my salt, and whenever you're trying to saute up or brown up onions, you want to get some salt on them. Makes a difference, makes a big difference. If you have to, you could add some more oil at this point if you were too dry on them. I have a fairly heavy hand on my oil. I, I like my oil. Now as soon as these turn yellow or translucent, they are done. It's just a couple of minutes. You're cooking the harshness out of them. Okay, then I'm going to pour in some cream. Of course, stir it in and that's going to lower the temperature of the pan. rebound. I have enough 
to cover the bottom of the pan. Then I'll get my chicken back in here again. Pour some cream in right on top of the chicken. Now these are cooked, so I don't want to cook them too much longer. Now it came to a boil, so I'm going to turn the fire off. This is a concrete countertop, so I can pull this off and it won't hurt. I have my plate and I have some parsley to put on the top. I just put some out in a little container. The pasta. I've been keeping it warm in some hot water, and I have this special fancy pasta scoop that is supposed to make this easier to do. I'm not a big fan of spaghetti. It's kind of hard to work with. Pasta is a lot easier. But here we go. A bed of spaghetti and a spatula to grab out one of our wonderful pieces of chicken and if you want to you can grab a spoon and get some of this gravy out of here this will be absolutely delicious and you know another thing that I didn't do that I might do next time is make some mashed potatoes with this because then you'll have that gravy for the mashed potatoes. And we have some parsley we'll put on top just like that. And then we'll call this a done meal. I hope you've enjoyed this quick meal. It shows you how simple you can cook something and have it be good and healthy for you. And if you'd like to see two more, here's some more videos. Thank you.